Hey guys, uh, this is Jeff. I want to do a quick video to show my trade collection. I saw a video tag for uh, what's on your shelf. Uh, so when I upload this, hopefully, then I will um, put that, uh, maybe tag that with that. So anyway, um, the light sucks. Um, I had to put a lamp over here, so it's going to be kind of weird. Um, as you can see, I'm in my uh, closet. Um, with my Chiefs jersey and some other clothes. and um, my short box is where I keep all the current books I'm collecting. So I have a really humble, um, just a one shelf trade. And as you can see, I'm coming to the end. I had a Animal Man uh, short box in there, but I've moved it because I'm going to pick up some new trades at Free Comic Book Day, and that's where they're going to go. And then also that slot will be for my Watchmen Absolute Edition that I want to get. So I have a copy of Watchmen. It's beat the shit. So it needs to be replaced, and I want to replace it with a absolute edition. But anyway, um, my top shelf here, first of all, I think you guys have met Mr. John Constantine uh, and his uh, on-again, off-again uh, lady, Zatanna, uh, and then Bane, who my girlfriend made me a cake for my birthday, and it was a Batman cake, and she put Bane on top, so... Anyway, that's obviously movie bane. So I'm going to slide them over here. And uh, this top uh, top row, uh, as you can see, is all my Batman trades. That's kind of how I collect Batman. And I only collect Batman in modern day continuity. Um, <coughs> I don't have a lot of old, old Batman trades, and, and they kind of have to fall into... Um, the modern continuity for me to have them. Um, I have a couple of hardbacks uh, lining the shelf here, and that, of course, is Killing Joke. Uh, and I also have uh, the hardcover of uh, Cacophony. Like I said, it's going to be hard to see. Um, and then I haven't opened this yet, but uh, Brian K. Vaughn's False Faces. Uh, and then I have Paul Denny's um, Heart of Hush. Uh, and then the, then there's the paperbacks that start uh, year one, uh, Batman, the Monster Man, and the Mad Monk, um, Brew Bakers, uh, the Man Who Laughs. Um, I have a new uh, release of Prey, which collects some Legends of the Dark Knight. Um, oh yeah, uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, some of my favorite Batman creators. Um, I have Dark Victory, Haunted Night. Uh, out of all those, I like Dark Victory the best. Um, then, of course, Grant Morrison's Arkham Asylum, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, Death in the Family, which is all kinds of just wacky. Uh, I'd recommend everybody read it. I saw that CJ picked up a copy of it. Uh, with the Lonely Place of Dying. This is the old version. It doesn't have Lonely Place of Dying in it. Um, Birth of the Demon. That's the that's the story of Damien being conceived, basically. And now I'm going to pull those out, but you see I have um, the Nightfall Saga, which is my favorite Batman story arc. <clears throat> and as you can see, I don't have... Um, what I don't have in this Batman collection is the um, uh, No Man's Land saga, which is five huge trades like this. So someday, um, Nightfall is better for me. So uh, up here, before I go any further, I got some uh, Lobo trades written by Scott Ian from Anthrax. Right, I kind of like Lobo uh, when he's used right. Um, Batman vs. Bane, uh, Tales from the Multiverse, uh, Batman Vampire. And then there's Black Casebook, which is great for anybody who wants to start the Grant Morrison run. It kind of gives some old Batman stories in here. I won't show you. Either. They're from like the 50s. Um, but they're great, and they tie into what Grant Morrison did. And then from here starts my Grant Morrison run. Um, there's Batman and Son. And these are in order. Uh, I'd recommend for anybody who wants to start the Grant Morrison run is if you get Batman and Son, 
get or actually get the black glove hardcover because in the black glove hardcover you will get uh, both Batman and Son and black glove collected. Um, and then there's also the Resurrection of Ra's al Ghul that fits in there. Um, then there's Batman R.I.P. Um, Batman Time in the Batman. Uh, Battle for the Cowl. Um, Batman Long Shadows. And then these books are incredible. Um, Batman and Robin. Um, at least the first three volumes. You need to get those. Of course, that's Batman and Robin Reborn when Dick Grayson takes over. And then I have uh, Batman Incorporated, Return of Bruce Wayne, Gotham Gates. Um, then I have Court of the Owls, Volume 1 for the New 52. Uh, Penguin, Pride and Prejudice. Anybody who is digging Dark Knight right now with Greg Hurwitz and, um, um, you know, Van Skyver and whoever else is on art. I know Sir Dan uh, Kurdansky was on there for a while. Um, this is Kurdansky and Hurwitz, so... Pick that up. And then, of course, Dark Knight Returns, which I love. And then I have, actually, a first printing uh, Dark Knight Strikes Again, uh, number one. I don't know what they call them. Um, premiere editions or, or whatever. And then uh, Black Mirror Hardcover and Bruce Wayne, The Road Home. So those are my Batman books. Um, my next shelf... I'm sorry this is shaky. It's kind of hard to do right now. Um, the next shelf is my Stephen King's. Uh, there's my Stephen King, The Stand, all six volumes, all hardcovers. And then my Stephen King, um, The Dark Tower Saga, which is my favorite novels. And they're doing adaptions, comic adaptions. And I have all ten of them there. I should have. And there goes my Swamp Thing hardcovers and my uh, uh, Volume 1. Um, the first ten issues are collected in Dark Genesis. If you've seen my Swamp Thing videos, I've shown that. These books are packed in tight, so I'm not going to pull any of them out. And then there's all six volumes of the Alan Moore run on Swamp Thing. And then uh, i got New 52 Swamp Thing, first two volumes, and New 52 Animal Man, first two volumes. And then I recommend everybody go out and pick up at least the first three volumes of the Animal Man trades. I have one, two, three, and four um, here for Animal Man, uh, first volume. Uh, the fourth volume just came out, which collects everything post-Grant Morrison up to issue, like, 35. And then I have my entire run on Preacher. Uh, which is one of the most um, amazing comic book series I've ever read. Um, I'm looking forward to reading it again. It's just going to be one of those things where I'm going to read through like once a year or so. Uh, so if anyone hasn't checked out Preacher, it's from the 90s. It's uh, pretty solid. Um, and then I have some Garth Ennis stuff. Uh, well, this is all Garth Ennis. Garth Ennis wrote the Preacher uh, saga. Uh, there's Garth Ennis's The Pro, which is a, a prostitute superhero, weird one-shot story. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, also got Garth Ennis' The Boys, the entire run, volumes uh, 1 through 12. The Boys is absolutely incredible. Um, superheroes that are assholes and this group government agency that's supposed to uh, normal guys but they're tough ass guys that are supposed to keep them in line uh, very interesting stuff so I recommend everyone check that out and then we're going down to my bottom shelf which will be very hard for me to kind of get the right angle I have a bunch of other stuff down here I have severed by Scott Snyder um, the Old Black Kiss by Howard Chaikin. Um, Underwater Welder by Jeff Lemire. I recommend everybody uh, look into Jeff Lemire's uh, independent work. It's just really good stuff. Uh, the Nobody by Jeff Lemire, which was he released through Vertigo. Uh, more Brian K. Vaughn, as you can tell, I like Brian K. Vaughn. Uh, this is The Hood by Marvel Max. And uh, Grant Morrison, The Filth. And then here comes my American Vampire Trades. Um, I have two in paperback, volume one and volume two. And then volume three and volume four. 
I have in hardcover, and I'm looking to get volume five maybe this weekend. Um, American Vampire is a lot of fun by Scott Snyder. So anybody who's not looking into American Vampire who's enjoying Scott Snyder, you might want to check it out. Um, oh, up here I had the Marvel Now preview. I had a free comic book day from last year. And uh, I have an Inve Avengers Invader, uh, one in 25 or maybe one in 100 variant. I don't know. Um, yeah, don't <laughs> I have some of that stuff. Um, here's my Hellblazers I've shown you already, volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4, volume 5 coming out soon. Uh, I'm picking up volume 2 of Frankenstein, Agent of Shade, this weekend, I think, if they have it in. I uh, can't wait. Uh, I got the first two volumes of I Vampire, as I've shown before. Um, All Star Superman by Grant Morrison, one of the only Superman trades I own. I love it. Uh, Manhattan Projects. Here comes some of my image trades. Manhattan Projects, Volume One. Hope to pick up Volume Two this weekend. I meant to pick it up before. Um, there's my Saga trade. I will be picking up the second volume of that, and I'll probably be staying with it as long as I'm enjoying it. Uh, Mind the Gap. The only other trade that I don't have from Image in here that I'm missing is that I want to pick up Bedlam. And I hope they still have it because it was selling for 10 bucks the first six issues. And uh, I hope they have it. I'm going to be one of the first people in my shop on Saturday. So tomorrow, actually. So hopefully they still have a copy for me. Um, Identity Crisis. Uh, one of my favorite stories of all time, an old story, Marvel, uh, Iron Man, Demon in a Bottle. And then I have a Brave and the Bold team-up book by Michael J. Straczynski. And then the rest of the way are my Jonah Hex books. I have Jonah Hex, Face Full of Violence, Guns of Vengeance, Origins, only the Good Die Young, Luck Runs Out, Bullets Don't Die, Lead Poisoning, The Six Gun War, Counting Corpses, you get the idea. I'm <laughs> not pulling them all out. Um, I love this series. Anybody who's enjoying All-Star Western might want to check this out. Uh, there's a graphic novel called Jonah Hex No Way Back. Uh, and this has art by Tony De Zuniga who is the original artist um, and co-creator of Jonah Hex. And I also have, um, I don't want this to fall, a oh, very terrible trade, a little prestige format is what they call them, called Totems, which has like Animal Man, Swamp Thing, Shade, um, um, uh, Robot Man from Doom Patrol, Constantine. It's not good, though. I wouldn't recommend anyone pick it up. It's by Tom Pyre, who's a former editor at DC and not a very good writer, in my opinion. Um, and then I have the um, Black Orchid. This is not the Black Orchid we see in New 52, but this is Black Orchid from Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean. Um, books 1, 2, and 3 uh, tells the second version of Black Orchid. We are looking at the third version now, so, um, so anyway, yeah, sorry, um, the Jonah Hex trades, anyway, um, they're by the guys who write All-Star Western now, uh, and then there's a varying rotation of artists, you saw, um, artists like, um, um, Darwin Cook, J.H. Williams, um, Phil Noto, uh, just, a rotating, Luke Ross, I think, was one of the first uh, artists that was in there. So a rotating cast of artists that, you know, these are all like one-shot stories. So they, I would recommend these to anybody who uh, likes Westerns or, or likes Jonah Hex. So. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I'll pan back. It's my, my little tiny shelf in my dark little corner of my closet. I said Batman dominates the top row. And I got some of my Garth Ennis and hardcovers in the second row. And um, 
just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff down here. So that's my that's the way I organize it for now. But anyway, uh, share your share your collections. Um, if you have a trade paperback collection or just a shelf that you want to show with statues or whatever. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.